So here we go then, it's a very good morning from me, Johnny Bryan, and I welcome you to Twickenham for the 2016 NatWest Schools Cup Finals Day. This is one of the great days of schools rugby, where eight of the finest rugby schools in the land will battle it out for the four prizes that are on offer this afternoon. It's a cool, fresh morning here at Twickenham, but soon will, it will become a cauldron of action and be a hot furnace indeed. The first match of four we'll have for you is between Dr. Challoner's Grammar School against the Thomas Riches School for the under-15 Vars final. The they've, gone, they've gone quickly. Tony. Back foot. They're smelling blood here. Ten minutes into this half. Coming a little drive forward, just shy of the line. Little drive again. No hands. That's how far they are. How far out they are. Owen, Tony, back foot on the line. Owen, Weatherall, ball backwards. lost, but did it go backwards? It did. Still Played in ball. red hands. Owen, Sid Day, Blake Morris. It's going to be the only score for James Tony. Very well worked try. Dr. Chandler's on the board. Five mils. What a fantastic try. As you saw from the penalty, as we talked about earlier, there's no point going for line outs because you can't lift. So they've taken the quick tap, they've recycled the ball. They've actually offloaded quite a few times in this first half. It's obviously a ploy of theirs. They're obviously coached really well to offload. Superb try and thoroughly. It might slide in, it does slide in. What a kick from the young man. That was hit like a power fade with a driver off the tee. It just slid in through the post and Dr. Chandler's lead by seven points to nil. For a 14-year-old boy to be banging it over from the touchline, he's absolutely outstanding. To try and keep them occupied. But hopefully, it'd be good to see Sir Thomas Riches try and keep the ball in hand, not keep the ball away as much. And they may have a good opportunity here with Walker. And a good That's drive right. forward, that is from Guy Floyd. In, into, deep into the uh, Dr. That's Chalmers the 22 here. They're just shy of the five-metre line. Yeah, and they win outside. a penalty for their endeavour. Relatively straightforward. Nonchalantly put over by Daniel Walker. And now the score is Dr. Chandler 7. So Thomas Riches score through. That's First the phase defence right. They can't let this Dr. Chandler side through them because then they're constantly He's defending the around their 22. Right. So they've got to get their first phase defence right. Then they may force some turnovers. Well, seven points to three right now. Dr. Chandler's looking to add just before Roll the end of this first back. half into the 22. Move, they come again. Avante, job side Much of the territory has been here in the first half. Tunney. Tunney is just too good. Beautiful try. James Tunney with the second try for Dr. Chandler's. He's been very much their talisman in this first half. And a beautifully worked second try from the school from Buckinghamshire. James Tunney is the scorer. 12-3 they lead. Uh, the score from eight, James yeah, he's a really strong ball carrier, but he's got some pace and footwork as well. He's not just a straight Bosch man. And with a sort of forward roll there at the end, really Thank athletic, exciting prospect, this young player. All of the good things that they're doing revolve around him. Now they go right, it should be an opportunity here, it should be an opportunity to try, and it is! I was about to say before that ball went in, there was plenty of room on the right hand side. And as you mentioned Sam, used, used the wings. Yeah, superb execution, there's 50 metres of space, only two defenders, five yards on the line, almost in, impossible to defend if you attack it. Draw the man, run straight. Lovely pop pass over for the try. Really, really good execution there. Again, attacking a little bit wider. I think that's where they've got to go. 
Matthew Lampert, the try scorer. Great kick. Another fantastic kick, really assured kicking from the fly half. Okay, in the middle. Tony on the hat trick. Tony, wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. I was very surprised when they had the scrum there at the last occasion, the, the nine passed it. Tony almost impossible to stop from there with his pace and his power. He's been absolutely outstanding this game. Superb play for the number eight, James Tunney, who has been stunning in this final. Three tries to his name. Great fend there. Again, a little bit of footwork. He's not just running over people and using his size. He's actually running at shoulders. OK, so if there is a tackle, he'll probably be able to offload anyway. Really good skill from this young man. But there's not a lot Weatherall can do there. He's bigger, he's quicker. If someone's quicker than you, there's not a lot you can do. He's a very impressive player, that young man. Good to see now the subs are all coming on. They're all going to get their couple of minutes that they can go back and say they've played at Twickenham. Great from the coach there, getting all these young boys on. Indeed, this confirmation, James Tunney gets our man of the match. Seven, please. That looks a little bit high as well. Release, Chatler! Gordon. This is Zaire Rafai. And that ball's going to touch, and that is short of the game. It certainly is. Congratulations, Dr. Chandler's Grammar School of Amazon in Buckinghamshire. They have won the 2016 bars for under 15. So there we have it. One down, three to go here for Twickenham. Dr. Chandler's Grammar School have won the under 15s bars. One of their former alumni was the actor Roger Moore. Dr. Chandler's are definitely some in double heaven. <laughs> yeah, they absolutely. It's the, probably the best moment that they actually experience when they're up there, they're lifting the trophy, they're with the mates, they're all going nuts. Thoroughly deserved. Um, well done then. They're going to have a great day. What's great to see, Sir Thomas Riches, all their players down there not disappearing, making sure that they cheer on Dr. Chandler's. It's great to see the spirit within rugby still going down there with those boys. But yeah, fair play, Dr. Chandler's. They were really impressive and hope that they can now, day's done for them, they can enjoy this day whilst all the other schools are waiting for their games to come. Absolutely. Dr. Chandler's Grammar School, under 15 vice champions, beating Sir Thomas Richards' school by 19 points to 10.